Ministers representing member states of the Intergovernmental Action Group Against Money Laundering in West Africa, chief executives of regulatory and law enforcement authorities, and anti-money laundering experts are in this hall for the 27th Ministerial Committee meeting of the Intergovernmental Action Group Against Money Laundering in West Africa. Proceedings at the meeting begin with commitments from stakeholders. As a means of strengthening our MSCFC regime that holds criminal accountable, Jabba will start a critical conversation with member states and stakeholders in creating a regional sanction regime for the community that will seek to deny black the movement of the process of crime in the community and restrict physical movement of criminals, terrorists associated within the region. The Financial Action Task Force intends to strengthen the effectiveness and cohesion of the global network. We have started exploring ways in which we can enhance cooperation and collaboration between the FATF and FATF-style regional bodies such as GIABA. The ECOWAS Commission, under my leadership, will continue to support GIABA to build on its lessons and continue to take concrete and credible steps to consolidate existing gains and to ensure sustainability of the gains post AIP. The chairman of the committee and Nigeria's attorney general of the federation stressed the need for greater collaboration. It is incumbent on member states to provide all support that is necessary for GEVA to conduct its work in a more effective and efficient manner. As a capable and technically confident organization, GEVA can and should put before the rest of the globe AML CFT network, the aspirations and peculiarities of our region. The 27th Ministerial Committee meeting continued behind closed doors as member states brainstorm on how to effectively combat terrorist financing and money laundering issues.